guys, Freddy Tech back with another video from CFL Tech. We're on the Charter Communications press release page with this streaming media news story. And as always, it will be linked down in the description if you want to check it out. So we have some new information here and it looks good for Spectrum customers. So it's saying here, enjoying Spectrum's seamless entertainment now even easier with enhanced digital self-service features. So what is this all about? So here are some key takeaways from this new information. Now it's saying new online tools allow customers to upgrade already included streaming services to ad free and add apps a la carte to internet only plans. So you have that option now with internet only plans, which is really nice to see. Now key takeaways here are Spectrum's seamless entertainment combines a live TV plus the most popular streaming services at no extra cost. Now we know they've been doing this for a little while now with the add-on apps at no additional cost, which is something nice that you have now as far as additional services, streaming add-ons. So you need those extra services now as cable TV is dwindling more people are streaming. It's never been easier for customers to stream without commercial interruption or to add streaming apps to their Spectrum internet plan. Number three here, customers can now upgrade and add streaming apps via the My Spectrum app or spectrum.net. So you have those two options there. So here's the read. If you want to check this out, we'll link it down below. So as you can see here now with all of the apps that are now being made available at no additional cost to Spectrum TV customers, you have AMC Plus. Those are with ads now, of course, Disney Plus, Basic, HBO Max Basic with ads, Paramount Plus Essential, VIX Premium with ads, and Peacock Premium with ads. With more apps coming soon, including Hulu with ads, and ESPN's forthcoming streaming service, a retail streaming value of more than $100 per month. For Spectrum internet only customers, this marks the first time a digital self-service option has been available to add streaming services to their Spectrum account. So that's really nice to see that the internet only customers now are included with this new addition here. Some more flexibility. Now they have to do this stuff because the cable TV, typical traditional packages are losing customers. Cord cutting continues. So these options now with the streaming apps seem to be helping somewhat. But we just did a video recently on Charter Spectrum how they continue to lose TV and internet customers. This is helping a little bit. It would probably actually be worse than it has been for the losses if they did not do this a while back, several months back, probably since the beginning of the year. So they are doing this now, actually a little longer. They had that Disney dispute last year and they got the apps now added as bonus apps because of that deal they struck with Disney. But now they have struck deals with other platform owners but they have to do this. So here's some more points here. My Spectrum app, you have the online way to do it, a la carte app. So we'll link this down below. Let's go take a look here at the, um, more, for more information here, more information about seamless entertainment from Spectrum is available at spectrum.com forward slash entertainment. So let's take a quick look at that here real quick. It's probably just the general website information, but let's see what comes up here. When we go to this, I think you have a way to access the actual um, apps here. It's running a little slow. There we go. It's all here now. So you can get it now. You can have it all. Streaming apps, your favorite shows, movies, live TV, and more together in one place at no extra cost with Spectrum TV Select. So you can get it now. Pick your plan. So we'll link this down below as well. Here's some FAQs. But what are your thoughts on this new way to access your information for your apps and upgrade? Are you looking to upgrade? Also, you're only paying the difference for the with ads versus the no ads for any one of these streaming services. So that's kind of nice. So it's 3 to $10 more per month on average across all apps per app if you want to pay for the no ads version, which is really nice that they're doing it that way. So what are your thoughts on this? Are you taking advantage of this? Hopefully this helped you out if you are a Spectrum TV customer now. Of course, we're covering Spectrum because now you have streaming involved with cable TV packages. It's all kind of integrating now because they have to do this to try to keep customers. Cable TV linear channels are dwindling. That's why you're seeing Warner Brothers Discovery split into two different companies. 
They're kind of keeping this stuff separately because they have different directions with the streaming versus linear cable TV. So put your comments down below. If it's your first time here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also the notification bell so you know when the next video drops on CFL Tech. Hit that thumbs up as well. It really helps the channel out with the algorithm. It's really appreciated as well. Freddy Tech checking out of this one. Thank you for watching. Soon to be back with another. Take care.